All right, this is part two. I just finished doing part one, and uh, it took like 35 minutes to go through all the Kobe's. Now we're going to go through all the Michael Jordans. This is a blind reveal. Uh, I'm sim uh, simply just grabbing them, taking a look, and then flipping them. Um, all the information about how long it took was in part one. Uh, so if you want to watch that, we got four tens in there. Uh, a ton of nines. Uh, it's all Kobe's in the first section. This is all Jordan's. Um, I'm expecting, you know, more of the same. Uh, a lot of nines uh, for the best looking cards. Uh, maybe a ten if we're lucky. Uh, but definitely a lot of sixes, sevens, eights as well. So we'll start with the first card here on top. This is one of the showstoppers. So this is actually an insert. Uh, this is one of my favorite inserts. On the back, the card looks pretty good, actually. The corners look pretty nice. Um, which probably means this is a 9. Okay, so let's take a look. Yep, a 9. Man, that card looks great. Actually, I'm really happy with that. Something on the... Uh, on the slab here. It's like some moisture that's in there or something. Look at that card. That's got a lot of shine to it. 1997 finest Michael Jordan with the coating. Cool card there. And remember all of these I've had in my collection for... We'll put the 9s right here, 10s will go here, and then everything else will be to the right. Uh, for a very, very long time. Um, these are all cards from my childhood, so... We got a Michael Jordan, uh, looks like uh, the Chicago, the Sears Tower is what it was called back then. Um, 1993, Upper Deck. Actually, it doesn't look terrible there. Uh, I'm guessing like the corners will get it. But Skylights, you guys have probably seen this card. An 8, so not too bad. It's a cool, cool picture. Uh, my guess is that maybe the corners got it. It's not like a crisp edge either. Maybe that's part of the issue. Not too bad though. I like that card. This is... I can't remember if this is one of the metal cards or... I know. It's definitely, I think, an insert or subset. I don't know. I'll flip it over and find out. Oh, Hardwood Leader. 96, 97. We got another 9. This actually looks pretty good too. Yeah, it looks pretty crisp. I'm not, obviously I'm not sure about like centering and stuff. This is literally the only order I've ever sent in, and I just grabbed cards that I liked and uh, sent them in. I've got a bunch more Jordans and stuff to send in, or that should I wish I would have sent in back then because it's you know 150 dollars a card now, but. Here we got a 92 Skybox. I think I got a bunch of these cards. Uh, I'm not sure how many I sent in, though. But this corner over here looks pretty soft. So the best case scenario is probably an 8. So this is a 7. Yeah, I definitely have more of these. Skybox Salutes. It's a cool card, too. Not bad, not bad. Sevens, though, we'll put in this. The sevens and below, we'll put in our own pile. Then we got, looks like uh, an insert of some sort. So, complete 30 card checklist here. Michael Jordan, number 30. This is a sticker set. Okay. 96 sticker. I can't remember which one these are. Ah, okay. Maybe there's uh, different versions of these. Maybe there's like where he's wearing white or black jersey. But an 8. Collector's Choice. I think I have the whole set of this somewhere. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. I think this is another Hardwood Leaders right here. Oh. We got two cards on top of each other here. 
This is like the year before with the hardwood leaders. This one's a lot thicker than that other one. Um, it's not terrible, actually. Maybe this corner's a little off. Look at him, ready to go. The goat. A six. Wasn't expecting a six. Oh, the corner up there looks kind of beat. Let's see if I can get a light on that. See, it looks bent. It's like when they went to go close it, they like put it at the corner in there. Maybe there's some other surface issues too. Six, not ideal. Definitely one of the more iconic sets back then. This is 95, 96 Flare. Flare edition. We'll put that in the bad pile. So far we got uh, two seven belows, two eights, and two nines. Um, I'm only expecting maybe 110 from the Michael Jordans. So we got a nine here, 98 Ultra. It's a cool, cool view. That's Charles Oakley back there. So he's playing the Knicks. It's a second run with the Bulls. Nice looking card there. Maybe some chipping there. It's probably give it the nine. We'll take it. We got a star power. I definitely have this entire set. Uh, there are different versions of star power. Um, like the amount of stars that there were. The change like it's rarity. I think it went from like one to four maybe. But it looks like there's a little white here. So maybe that'll. Oh we got a ten. That is sweet. So we got a ten on the star power. I was uh, I was worried. It looked like there was something maybe down here, but I can't tell. Thought that was gonna kick her down a little bit, but not bad. Ninety-seven Ultra Star Power. We got our first Michael Jordan ten. Love it, love it. This is fun. Gosh, now I wish I had a million of these. All right, so this one um, is an older one, obviously nineteen eighty-nine. <laughs> uh, also from my set as a kid uh, definitely off top to bottom looking at it from here right like the right to left looks pretty good actually and the corners look pretty sharp so maybe we'll get lucky on this one this is like his all star uh, version but maybe the top of the bottom is going to knock it down 8 you guys have definitely seen this card um I don't know. It looks pretty. That's a pretty good copy. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, maybe it's just too far down to signify a better grade. Man, that is probably one of the better copies you'll find, though. Uh, and this has been, like I said, in my collection forever. I do have more of these, actually. So I'll have to look. I like that one, though. An 8. I wish that was a 9, not an 8. And we got, we'll take from this pile, it's a 1991 Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Another eight. Corners look good here. It's pretty well centered. Maybe this one's pushed up too much. No, that looks pretty good, I think. I think going from the guard to Michael. Maybe there's something wrong with it somewhere. Corners actually look pretty good too. Hmm. I don't like how it's moving around in there. But, I don't know. I'm not sure. Most valuable player. What did he win? Like f four MVPs? Five MVPs? I could be off on that. He could have won a VP every year. Man, this card looks great. I'm not sure what uh, what's wrong with it. Maybe you guys can see something I don't. But we'll put that in the 8 pile. And these are sticking together. Alright, we'll do another older. Another 1989 card. A 9. Okay. 
Man, this card looks good too. Maybe this is when they stop handing out the tens, though. You know what I mean? I thought maybe there's something wrong with that corner, but it looks pretty good actually. Mm, maybe off center. I don't know. Looks pretty good. Definitely like in scope, you know. Not bad though. I'll take a nine. I like nines. Some of those other ones I think should have been at least a nine. All right, so we got a five years later, seven years later, something like that. Metal shredders. So this is a clear metal or skybox metal. This is the left corner. Maybe he's got something wrong with it. So we got an eight on the metal shredders. Definitely seeing more eights than we did with the Kobe's, right? I would grade them a little more strict. Soft corners, I think, are what killed this one. This is a cool card. I like this one. This is uh, another insert. Pump up the jam. Um, these corners look pretty good. Let's see what we get. An eight. Bummer. Maybe some chipping up top. Maybe the corners aren't as crisp as they need to be. That's a cool card though, right? It's from Hoops from 98. Take a look. I'm not sure if, how many of you have seen this card. It reminds me of just like a movie poster. That's why I like it. It's, you know, it's got the production stuff down here. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Another eight though. Hopefully we get more nines and tens. More nines and tens. I'm not sure which card. I got one upcharge, and I don't know why. Which card caused the upcharge? I don't know if we've hit it yet or not. But this is uh, Michael Jordan. Another insert. Um, ultra Ultra abilities. Another eight. Definitely something. No, actually, yeah, I can't. I think that's chipping along the entire top there. But iconic. His tongue's not out here, but, you know. Probably made that bucket. So we have to put that in our eight pile. We definitely, our biggest pile so far is eights. So we got another insert here from Upper Deck. This is um, 2001. Photo taken in 97, 98. They used it for 2001. That might be the mailman there that he's dunking on. Or layupping on. Right here, I can't tell. Car looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. Like, like it's a MJ embossed there. I don't know. I'm not sure what's wrong exactly, but I'm sure there's something. But I'll take nines. I like nines. We got another one that's pretty cool. This one you can see the embossing on it. Uh, big shots, 97, 98. And a nine. This one looks like it's in really good shape too. It's a cool card. Man, I had a, a pretty nice little collection. Uh, the thing that's missing from all of these, uh, if you watch the Kobe's as well, I think I've talked about this before, but I used to have what these like toolboxes. It was it's essentially what I call them, but it's like a collection box, and they had all these compartments for your collection. And all of my higher end or the better cards that I I thought that were higher end, at least back then, I put in these boxes. You know, I had them all set up, and some of them were in, you know, really nice condition. And um, I lost both of those. So, like, my, my better Kobe Bryant's, the Topps Chromes, all that stuff, are all in there, all missing somewhere. I'm not sure where, where, but they're gone. Ooh, a five. And who knows why we sent this card. There's some issues up top, and this is really off-center. 
1990. Looking on the back, it looks pretty good. You're like, yeah, yeah, that looks nice. And then you turn this over and you're like, oh, that's off center. Not sure if it deserves a five or not, but it's probably because of the damage up here. Well, you guys should see that. So that's one sad story. That all the best cards I have of Jordan and Kobe are, are gone. But this is a number crunchers card. Uh, this was like a soft corner up there and there, so I'm expecting an eight, a five. Man, that's back to back fives. Maybe there's a surface issue here. I'm trying to see if there's like something like the last one. I don't know. Does that look like a five to you? Five. I don't know. I don't know. Not sure why it's a five, but it goes into our <laughs> our bad pile. Hey, we got a ten. NBA Jams, ninety nineteen ninety seven upper deck. That's a cool card. That's Mutombo down there, I believe. Can't tell if that's Rodman off to the left or not. 97, it would have been Rodman. I think he's on the team. 97, 98. We got our second 10, though. Nice. Nice. We like 10s. Two 10s. I don't think they're like the most expensive cards that are in there, but we'll take it. So this is another 97. Card 1... Is this a metal card? No. Uh, Z Force, Z Skybox, ninety six, ninety seven. This card looks pretty good. I wish they like came with a thing that tells you this is why the grade got knocked down. Maybe just some like super sharp corners. Let's see if there's any chipping. Maybe down in the bottom, there's some chipping down there. Cool card though, the Superman. So if you guys can see the shine on it, with the Zuper. But it goes into our eight pile, our big pile. So we got some Jordan's greatest hits, card three eighty seven. Upper deck nine. This is a victory. Definitely off center, right to left. I think there might be something on the, no, I guess that was part of the, on top of this. 1999. Dribbling with his left hand there. And it looks like he's wearing his Jordans. It's a cool card. I actually have some really, uh, I think rare cards that are like numbered to 5,000. Some interesting Jordans that I, I probably should send in just to see how they do. We got a baseball card coming up. So here we got an eight for the upper deck. 1993. Look at this. This guy's jumping so high. He's reaching out like straight out and he's touching the bottom of his calf. This card looks pretty good too. Maybe the corner down here is messed up. Can't tell though, actually, it does look like it might be miscut a little bit. I can't tell. It doesn't look like it's completely straight. Another one in the eight pile. Let's just take a look at the baseball card. This is him when he tried out for the White Sox. You guys obviously know. We got a, a six. Six. What? Like, I think that some of the times they just, like, write down numbers for, like, no reason. I don't understand what the six is for. Does that card look like a six to you? It looks pretty well centered. Looks pretty like it's got sharp corners. Is there, like, a mark on here somewhere? What in the world? Like, 
It's like a meme. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know. A six. This is a six. Okay. Okie dokie. Got another nine. Slam jams. I think these have like these electric things that come with these. I feel like I have a couple of these. This one looks decent as well. Not bad. Slam jams. Got Tony Kukoc in the back there. 25. I'm not sure if that's like Nick. I don't know. Not sure what uh, knocks them down, but that one looks pretty good. I'll take nine. Try to move it a little bit faster. We're already at 20 minutes, and I still got a bunch of cards to go through. I don't know. I like looking at them. It's, it's been so long. It's been a year, over a year since I've had them. Look at him here. It's like, knows that he's better than everybody else. You got a nine on the collector's choice. This one looks pretty good, too. A little off left to right. And that's Malone for sure. Not bad. Put her in our nine pile. Our nine and our eight pile are now even. I'll go through and I'll, I'll look at some of the pricing. Maybe I'll do some graphics, but it's going to be such a long video. It's going to take a long time. Michael Jordan, this I think is a flare. This card actually looks pretty good. Better than I remember. Ooh, an eight. Wow. I thought maybe it was going to do uh, better than I expected because it looks actually pretty sharp. Flare 9495. Similar in the 45 jersey. Not sure what's wrong with it. Maybe that left corner. Eight to take over nine. And we got another six. I knew I was going to get some bad bad cards, but maybe this one's got that. Maybe that mark is actually on the card right there. See that print line? Or is that a part of the slab? That's probably what it is. Pointman. We got quite a few in the uh, sixes and sevens and fives. This is, I think, a Fleer Metal card, maybe. Is this the Metal Universe? If this is the Metal Universe, I think. I was really hoping for a higher grade on this one. Because I thought it looked pretty good. Let's take a look. And, like, the corners look pretty sharp. Everything looks pretty sharp. An eight. Oh, bummer. I think when I was looking at these, like this card was like five grand and like a 10. And I was hoping that this would be the 10. I don't know. Or maybe a nine. Looks good. It's one of my favorite cards. Not a 10 though, it's an eight. It's an eight. Uh, and an 8, I'm not sure what it's worth. It's probably worth more raw than it is an 8. Especially now in the market. It's changed so much. So we got another upper deck card here. A 4. What in the world? A 4. It's got to be a big surface issue or a dent or something. Man, it's a great looking card. Something's got to be wrong, though. There's got to be something wrong. I don't know. I just don't see anything. That's why I wish they just said, like, what was wrong with it. So I got something on there. Is it, like, bent or something? I don't see anything. Does that look like a four? Like a four? I feel like when you have a four, like your card's in half some. Like, what's wrong here? 
I don't know what's wrong. This isn't a four. Athlete of the Century, four. I don't know. It's like a meme, though. Like, what? What? Why is it a four? Here's one of the better cards, too. This one got a seven. Um, definitely the right corner here has got an issue. Maybe the top right, too. I love this set. This is a scoring magnet. I was kind of hoping this one would get a nice, nice score, too. It's not perfect by any means, but I don't think it's seven worthy. I was thinking that this might be like a nine. But at least it's not a four. Scoring magnet. Here's a cool card. Michael Jordan Stadium Club. This one's got a nine. We'll just start going a little faster now. Those are some of the fun cards. I have no idea which card caused the upcharge either. I don't know which one of these. I think we got another one of the stadium clubs right here. This one also got a nine. Not sure. This one looks pretty sharp. Looks pretty sharp. A couple nines and the this looks like an older uh, 1990 hoops, baby. Yeah, this one got a five. I'm sure there's something wrong with this one. Surface, maybe. I don't know. Looking for it. Looking for it. Don't see it. Maybe on the back. Man, I really don't know. It's maybe off top to bottom and left to right, though. Not sure why I got a five. And then we got a nine in another flare metal. We still are yet to get a 10 on the Flare Metals. This one looks really good too. I like it. Really sharp corners on this one. We'll take nines. We'll take nines. Probably something wrong with one of the corners maybe. I don't know. Nines overtake eights. This one's another metal card I think. Eight. This is nuts and bolts. It's like a subset inside the set. This one looks pretty good too. Alright, we got like 15 more cards maybe. Collector's Choice, Michael Jordan. We got a nine. Not bad. Scotty on the back. Card looks pretty good. Maybe a little off center. Let's see if I can get any more tens with Michael. This one looks pretty good too. Seems like it maybe the maybe a corner issue down here. I don't know. Nine. Pippin also in this picture. I got more of these as well. Another five. The fives make me laugh. I'm not sure. This one might have something at the top here that's scratched. Or indented. I don't know. I think I might have more of these. We have quite a few cards that are in the other pile. But I was expecting it. It's just... Sometimes you're still shocked. This is him winning another championship. Retro, 1993. There's actual, I thought there was an actual card. This is a retro version of that card. So I think I have the regular version of the card too. Nine. Another flare metal. This one's an eight. Metalized. Um, I don't know. Maybe the top left, top this corner here. I 
eight. Mostly eights and nines, so we, it's not terrible. Another seven, as I say that. Players Club. Uh, I'm not sure, not sure, not sure. Corners look pretty good. Maybe this left corner is a little soft. And there's probably like some other things wrong with it that I don't know. This is an older card. Uh, maybe the checklist, 1990. Cool, we got a 9 on this one. Off center, a little bit here, you can see. A little fatter here, a lot fatter here than that side, so. Definitely doesn't deserve a 10. Really cool art card there, though, of the 9. I like it. We got uh, 1996. Oh, another Z Force. Ooh, we got a 10 on this one. Hey, it's a cool card. Z Kling is what it's called, huh? Z Kling. 1990. Okay, we'll take that. That one might be worth some money. Who knows? We got him. Another Slam Jams. I think we had one of these earlier. I thought I had one with the electric thing. There it is. Electric Court. And we got a 10 on that one. This is what I'm talking about. The Electric Court. So it's like a, a variation of it. Back to back 10s. How about that? We're up to number 4 on 10s. That was more 10s than I expected. Here's a cool set. The UD3. This is a die cut. Um, I actually remember this looking pretty decent when I sent it in. Um, got a 9 on it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe this top right corner, the stuff's starting to come off. But it's got a coating on top of it. You can take the coating off, actually. So I wonder if you take the coating off if... Uh, it's hard to see the hologram in there. There you go. A nine on that. Not bad. And you got a top scoring leader. Another nine. Off right to left for sure. Still a cool card. Another nine. Maybe we'll finish strong. We got no, isn't as I need to <laughs> stop saying anything. This one is a six. Oh, I'm not sure why. This looks like it's got pretty sharp corners. There's got to be probably a surface issue somewhere. I don't know. It looks pretty good, man. Wow. Like, see, I don't. I just don't know why it's a six. You see something on there that I don't? Anybody? Oh, put it in the oh crap file. Another six. Back to back sixes. I had to say something. This one looks good too. 1992. This looks sharp to me. I don't know. I don't know why it's a six, man. I don't know why. I feel like they messed up and they meant nine or ten. Uh, this is a part of the boss, I think, we saw with the Kobe's. This card looks pretty good from the back. Nine. I think we got a nine on the Kobe as well. Maybe a little whitening down here on this, this corner. Everything else looks pretty good. Not bad. Nines. Inside, outside. Definitely white on the corners here. So I'm thinking the best that this one will do is an eight. So I say eight. That means it's going to be a six, right? Seven. Definitely does not deserve a better grade than that. Looks like there might even be a surface issue there. See, now this might be a six. Oh, the other ones, I don't know. 
Our sixes and sevens and fives have overtaken our eights now. It's not bad. I mean, that's not good. So we got Michael Jordan, six foot six, weighs 216 pounds from Brooklyn, New York. A Bowman's best. Best techniques, seven. Um, not sure what's wrong with this one either. It's a cool card though, right? You guys can see it. Put that one over there in the sixes and sevens and fives and fours pile. <laughs> this one didn't get a three yet. So we got a Jordan and Z Force 9. I think we got a bunch of these with the Kobe's too, and I think the best we did was an 8, so this one's better than that. And this one is an eight. You got a nine of Jerry Stackhouse's all Fleer. This one looks really good too. Maybe some whitening there or there or something. Nine though, not bad. And our last card. An eight. Oh. Uh, I like this one. 96, 97 Ultra. Um, it's probably something wrong with corners, maybe. I don't know. And then on an eight, though. Did we start with an eight this time? I think we did. Starting and ending with an eight. Okay, so we ended up with the same amount of tens as we did with the Kobe's. So we got, out of 96 that were actually graded, we got eight tens. So probably like, what is that, like nine, eight or 9%? Um, not bad. We got quite a few nines. This is our stack of nines. I'd say we got about 15 nines maybe, maybe 20 out of the Jordan stack. This is our stack of eights. And this is our stack of everything else. You know, so I'll take a look at the tens one last time and then uh, I'll shut this off as a 40 minute video. So we got the electric court 1995-96 upper deck. I'm thinking maybe it's the Z-Force that, that caused the uh, upcharge I'm not sure but that 10 there got a 10 on this upper deck jams and I got a 10 on the star power so I'll see what these prices are and I'll let you guys know but that's a lot of fun uh, that is the only submission that I've done there are a couple more cards that are coming back from this order uh, that were ultra modern uh, a couple of Kobe's but yeah, not not terrible, not obviously not the greatest, but um, eight tens. We got eight tens out of ninety six cards. <laughs> All right, guys, see ya.